Hey folks, today we are at Kettle River. We're down, we just passed Beaverdale, Westbridge. We're on our way to the Kootenays today. And we just decided to stop at this really nice place called Kettle River Recreation Area. So there's a bunch of uh, campsites here, some day use areas, and there's the bridge. I'll jump it, yeah, I'm definitely jumping it. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, and then, oh, there's a nice beach here. Sweet. Wow, nice. Yeah. Okay, so we got ourselves a nice little spot here. Check that out. Nice and sandy. Some rocks. That way. Right, so I'm deciding if I'm going to swim across or not. Super slow going water. I think I can do it. And then maybe I'll jump that bridge if I think it's deep enough. That'd be awesome. All right, we moved over. I went and looked and look at that. Whew. I was like, I'm gonna check over this stump to see if there's a better spot. And boom, there's like a white sandy beach right there. And we can get it all to ourselves. Just big enough for a couple people. All right, we're going in. We're gonna sample this water. How is it? Damn, that's nice. Almost, almost fell on a rock. Caught myself in that snake. Look at him, he's a sweetie pie. Aww. Dude, he stinks though. They're so docile, they don't even try to touch. Okay guys, we're up on the bridge and I was gonna jump, but look at what you'd have to do. They put this fence there to block people off from jumping. So I'd have to shimmy along the edge there and I'm not sure uh, anyone would appreciate it. But that's a bummer, look how nice it is. Oh, somebody got a hole in there. Wow. Well, I don't know, yeah. It's kind of a bummer, though. Oh, but it's fish. It's not that deep right there. But it could be... It could be deeper than it looks. It's just so crystal clear. It looks like it's shallow. What about jumping here? No? Oh, yeah, you could jump there. You can see the bottom, but that it's still, like, 20 feet deep, it looks like. Ooh, I'm gonna try to fly the drone and not irritate everyone. From a, yeah. Sometimes I feel guilty if they're like trying to have a nice quiet dance. Hmm? Oh yeah. It's also really sandy here, so I don't know where I'm gonna fly. Oh, I guess the towel. Just chilling out in the water. It's so nice. It's hot today. So yeah, we're heading south towards Rock Creek right now after this. And then we're gonna go to Boundary Falls on the way. And our destination is Rossland, which is a little town in the Kootenays. And we're just gonna do some hiking around that area. So should be pretty danky. Ooh, look at this. <sighs> little fishies. There's fish everywhere. Maybe I can put the camera in.
All right, so we're just walking along this river trail here. We just flew our drone, got some sick clips. And we were trying to find this huge white sand beach that I saw on the drone when I flew over. I think it's just right up here, like a big sandbar. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so we made it to what I thought was a white sand beach, but it's, it's a bit rocky, but it's beautiful nonetheless. Cool. We'll explore around here for a little bit. See, maybe this is warm. Like this little section. Oh, cool! I wonder. Yeah. Oh, look! This fish swimming. Around. Ah. Oh, it is much warmer. Oh, and it's so clear. Fish skedaddling everywhere. Oh, look at they made like a little pool there. Let's go over there. Ooh. Now that's warm. That's pretty good. We're sitting in the water again. Oh yeah, right. There's a hike that goes up to the top of that mountain. That would be epic, but we're not here long enough. We've got a journey ahead of us to Rossland. But for now, I'm sitting in this warm water. It's freaking nice. It's much better than sitting in the sandy spots because you get sand up in your up in your crack. And that ain't too pleasant. All right, guys, we're just heading out from uh, Kettle River there. And our next stop is Boundary Falls. Oh, yeah. So it's like 0.4 kilometers off the highway so not too much but that should be awesome all right guys so we're here at boundary falls now we drove way down the road and up some other road and that's where google took us and then we went to all trails and then we realized like oh that's that like rest stop we stopped at earlier so it should only be 0.4 of a kilometer down here let's get a look well there's the creek there Let's go. Let's go down this way and see. It's super hot out here. It's 34 degrees right now. Casey said she's going to dive off the falls. Like, what the? <laughs> she's crazy, this girl. Yeah. Uh, and then I just like, that was a good one. What? Whoa. Giant boulder. There's a big canyon down there. That's what we're after. Casey's going canyon diving. Ooh. Oh. Saskatchewan. Yeah. See, I can survive in the wild. Wow, they're still ripe here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice Saskatoon. I love a nice Saskatoon. These are really good. Mm -hmm. We're just enjoying some Saskatoon berries. There's tons of them on these little bushes. They're good. In the Okanagan, they're way past. But down here, they're just ripe enough. Wow, I can hear the falls now. Look at that, guys. There's like a little cove with a beach and a bench there. I don't know how you get there. Maybe you gotta cross the river. So you can see remnants of a dam there. There it is. In all its beauty, Boundary Falls. It's fairly big, fairly decent size. Mm -hmm. We're trying to figure out, like, we know you can get down somehow, obviously. You could swim in that pool. I don't know from where we are, like, how easy that is, but there's also some kind of structures and a road up there. So, there's obviously a way. All right, guys, we just stopped here at beautiful Christina Lake. There's a thunderstorm above our heads and we're gonna cook some clam chowder. And this clam chowder should be beautiful. <laughs> at Christina Lake, look at it. It might get rained on though. It actually rained a lot over here. Which is nice. It's, it was fresh. 
It made the air really fresh. We went from 35 degrees to like 24, so that was kind of nice. We're just trying to get our clam chowder cooked before this storm comes in. It's coming our way. It just keeps thundering. Look at those odd clouds. They're like bubbles. Oh, hey. Hi. Hey, guys, we've arrived in the Kootenays. We're in the mountains in Rossland. We're here at the Lone Star Motel. And we got this place on Airbnb. I'll put the link in the description if you guys ever want to come up to the mountains of the Kootenays and enjoy this place. Um, yeah, so pretty basic place, but very, very well done, very clean. Everything is renovated nicely. You've got basically the essentials. So that's all our food we acquired today. So you've got your microwave, your fridge, coffee maker, uh, water, <coughs> water heater. What is this called? Kettle. 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 It's got Wi-Fi. Um, little desks here. I love this uh, tongue and groove. Nice. Got a nice cedar tongue and groove there. So a pretty nice bed too. I checked the sheets are all clean. The first thing I do is pull back the <laughs> pull back the comforter to see if the blanket's actually clean. So TV. Um is there AC in this? I need heater. I guess you don't need AC up here because it's you're in the mountains, right? It's 23 degrees. Doesn't seem that bad. We should open up the windows and get a cross breeze at least. Yeah, that's true. All right, here's the bathroom. So even the bathroom's well done. Nice towel work and everything. Uh, shower. It says not to use the tub because I guess it drains all the hot water. So, mirror. They even have a toilet. It's insanity. Really? Yeah. No Shocking. Uh, oh, nice closet with dresser and everything. Cool. Yeah, so not a bad place. I think it's just over 100 bucks a night, but I'm probably lying, so I'll just put the number up on the screen. And then you guys can rent it yourself. Like I said, link in the description. Rossland, baby.